Let's talk about the metering and sealing threshold needles in high fall. One key feature about the meter in high fall is that it's not an input meter like you'll see on most dynamic processors. It's actually a meter for the process band of the main high fall. So as I move this crossover flag higher, the signal is going to go further and further down because traditionally higher frequencies have lower amplitude. Another key point about the meter is that the threshold is setting the amount of limiting taking place on the main high fall, but it's also setting the amount of limiting taking place on the parallel limiter all the way over here on the right side. If you're trying to isolate sounds that are very high frequency or very low amplitude, the signal may leave the scale of the meter over here. So what you can do is use these carrots to change the scaling range of the input meter. Now we're at 12 to negative 60, and now we're at 24 to negative 72. So we're pulling the scale down and down so we can get to lower and lower level signals. Now you'll notice that the threshold is still at 19.6. So as I drag this down, it's not gonna move until it gets to 24 and then it's gonna start to move. Additionally, I can push this up and it can go past this range all the way up to zero. But again, it's not gonna move until I get down to 24 and then it starts to move. So this meter is actually scaled from zero dB to negative 72 dB. It just breaks it up into three blocks so that we have a little bit tighter range to look at. The threshold needles are linked by default, but you can unlink them by hitting this link button here. Now we have individual thresholds for the M and S or L and R signals coming into the process band. If for some reason I don't want to unlink the thresholds, I can just shift and drag the threshold needle and it'll separate it from the other channel. This is especially useful in MS processing. I'm gonna to switch to MS. I'm gonna set the side threshold down and now I'm gonna be DSing just the sides of the mix. If I wanted to relink those thresholds, I can hold down shift option and click one of them and they're relinked. Another thing you can do is right click the threshold needle to momentarily solo it and hear exactly what you're limiting. Let's take a listen and ride this video out. Till next time.